When the cat's away, the mice will play. Since Ani's not here, I've hijacked the studio and I'm gonna show you guys my everyday makeup look. Let's get to it. All right, first and foremost, I start by covering up my dark spots on my forehead. Lately, I've been using the NYX Color Correcting Concealer Palette that I bought just for $12. The palette has six colors, which can cover red, dark spots, and many more imperfections. All right, now that I'm done with that, I move on to my foundation. Now, some people like to do their eyes first, then move on to the face, but I have more of a two-part process that I will show you. After reviewing the Bobbi Brown Serum Foundation, I became obsessed, so I've been using that almost every day because of the SPF 40 and the fact that it has serum in it. I use the color natural in that. As you can see, I use a brush to spread the foundation, and then I use my beauty blender to blend it in. Next up is my concealer. I use the Kryolan in color D4. Every time I get my makeup done professionally, I notice that they use the palette from this brand. So obviously I had to go buy it for myself and I must say it's some heavy duty stuff. I draw my concealer under my eyes in a triangle form to give that brightening effect. And then I use the same concealer to brighten my forehead and then the thin line of the top of my nose. I then start contouring using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in the light palette. If you guys remember, I'm sort of obsessed with this. I don't go really aggressive with the contour during the day because let's be real, who wants to look aggressive during the daytime? We want that effortless, I woke up like this look. After contouring lightly, I use the e.l.f. Studio Under Eye Concealer and Highlighter that I bought for three bucks. I have the link below to this awesome product that makes a world of a difference. Then I start to blend everything in using my beauty blender. I use the thinner tip to do the concealed areas and the thicker end for the contoured areas. Now it's the time for the most important step in my makeup application process and that's the brightening powder I use on my under eyes. I use the Laura Mercier brightening powder in color two. I've mentioned this in the past. It's one of my favorite products and I apply a ton on my under eyes and I leave it there until I'm done applying the rest of my makeup. Okay, now it's time for the eyes. Once I get here, it moves pretty quickly. I usually like to spend most of my time on my face and do light eyes during the day. One thing I never forget is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. My eyeshadow will crease if I don't use a primer, and I really like the Urban Decay one in the Sin color for that shine. For eyeshadow, I keep it really natural with Max Crystal Avalanche in the tip of my eyes and then Max Malt all over. Again, these are both very light colors because during the day, I like to use light colors. For my under eyes, I don't use any liner during the day, just a brown eyeshadow by MAC called Swiss Chocolate in the matte tone. And that's it for my eyes. I curl my lashes, and for now, I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara that I bought for under $6 from Target. After I'm done with my eye, I quickly fill in my eyebrows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Bold and Beautiful Kit two-piece brow eyeshadow palette. Almost done. I then met out my face with Laura Mercier's Smooth Foundation Powder in color seven, because if you don't add any powder to your serum or liquid foundation, you'll get oily way too quick. And since I had gotten somewhat of a tan on my body, I used Lisa Wattier's bronzer to give my face some color to match my body. I used the Havana color and it's one of my favorites. The link to her site is below in the description box. And then finally, I double up in my Stila Cream Blush in the Petunia color as a blush. Then I leave it out to apply the lips as lipstick after. For my lip liner, I use Max Subculture. During the day, I like to stick with the nudes, especially at work because wearing a bright red or pink would be a little too thirsty for me. All right, guys, this is my final step. I get the Delium Tools 925, the fan brush, and I wipe off the translucent powder that I had put on earlier on, if you guys remember. And voila, I am complete, my everyday look. Snap me some of your everyday pics. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to click here to subscribe to our awesome channel. And if you want to see the review that we did on the Bobbi Brown Serum Foundation, this video is for you.